simultaneously, defense and attack. This will be the best deal if possible. Legs against legs. This is also an ideal case if possible. The Shaolin way. Smashing the kicks. This was how my late Shaolin master did. Iron Palm is part of his training regimen. And that's how we inherit his style. Training to condition and toughen our limbs. My late Shaolin master, Chong Beng Ju, was well known as the man with iron fist. His Shaolin philosophy is the guard hands or gates will destroy anything that try to enter. So we were graded for each level with increasing difficulty. Destruction tests were one of the measurements of our skill and prowess. Sparring sessions were also necessary training. The ability to put techniques into actual combat are best done, develop and nurture this way. As timing, positioning, footworks are necessary to make the techniques work. From these, what follow-up can one do are challenges that cannot be ignored. All these cannot be effective if one is not courageous and clear-minded. Therefore, it is both a body and mind training.